Hey, this is Ryan with MOS Equipment. So previously we made this DIY Faraday box, which is mill standard rated by way of the materials that are included, Titan RF Faraday fabric, tapes, and gaskets. Uh, we also made a few other videos showing you how to include a vent in the box as well as RF filters. We're now going to address a question we get all the time regarding how to put a window inside of an enclosure like this or how to install a window. We're going to use some transparent Faraday fabrics. So this fabric you can see through. I'll just uh, throw up my phone here so you can see through it. Um, it's somewhat transparent. We're gonna put two layers. This type of fabric here is about the best you'll get with clarity versus shielding. It's a high shielding fabric. So from uh, low megahertz to five gigahertz, you're gonna get about um, 50 to 80 dB of shielding, and when you combine it with two layers, it's more than adequate to block uh, signals in an enclosure like this. So the reason you may want to do this would be to see objects inside of a box. A lot of customers want to build rooms and they want windows in the rooms. You may be lining your house with Faraday fabric. You may be creating a box for wireless testing. Um, this application that we're going to do includes Titan RF Faraday tape. We're going to put that around the rim of the uh, fabric to install it. You can use this kind of method in a larger installation. There's other methods as well. You can wrap the fabric around a, a wood frame and get that against um, a wall of Faraday, Titan RF Faraday fabric. Different ways to do it. Always feel free to write us if you have questions at info at mosequipment.com. But let me go ahead and begin this. First thing I did was I cut a round hole out of the wood. Uh, this is just, you can do any size hole and cover it. This is just to make it easier for cutting. I used a large hole saw and then I cut my Faraday fabric around it. I am going to be using square uh, Faraday, transparent Faraday fabric pieces. That's just because it's easier to apply the tape to. There's no need to do round. And what I'll do now is measure out the size of the uh, square pieces and then I'm just going to cut tape so that I can get it halfway onto the edge of the fabric and expose a sticky part that can be ready to apply to the top of the lid. So this is our Titan RF Faraday tape. This size is one inch by uh, different lengths. This roll here is a 10 foot roll. And we do sell this individually. We sell 50, uh, 150 feet rolls. There's a lot of different sizes. Okay, so what I just created is one layer of the window with Titan RF tape all the way around it. Now I need to apply this to my window. And I'm gonna move the box just a little bit my way so I can do this well. Uh, because the Titan RF tape is so sticky, you don't want to get it stuck and in, in make it become a, a bird's nest of fabric and tape and just, uh, work it around. I'm going to undo that just to flatten it out a bit. And I don't, I don't have an extremely flat surface here with the fabric behind it. So uh, my window is going to turn out just a little bit wavy, which is fine. It doesn't, it's not going to affect the shielding or anything. But now what I've done is I've connected the transparent fabric conductively using the Titan RF tape to the Titan RF fabric behind it. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that everything remains conductive. And I'm just going to do that with a second layer. You can see this layer is just a little bit bigger. What's nice about that is the tape will overlap further into the Titan RF fabric, which kind of makes it like a, uh, a second somewhat decoupled layer from the first one. It means that it's not relying on the shielding of this layer. It's actually allowing itself to be somewhat independent by connecting the transparent to the Titan RF Faraday fabric that's exposed, not just the tape. Now I'm just gonna place the window down, center it as much as I can, and I'll put one side here so I can pull the other side. Work the tape down, and it's okay if you have some wrinkles, you just work those out. Everything should maintain conductivity. Uh, again, over here, it's just, you know, I would have liked it a little straighter. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect the shielding. Okay, turned off the lights on that side so we can see the phone through it. And that's nice. If you want to put a light inside of a box, that'll help. And I'm going to go ahead and test it now. So we're really close to our router. 
Um, this is a great area to test. I'm on I'm on 2.4 gigahertz. You should test on 5 and 2.4. This is our app. It's called Faraday Test on the iOS uh, Apple App Store. It's called MD Faraday Bag Tester on Android. I'm gonna click start. I have acquired signal for Wi-Fi and it's strong. I've got full bars. Put it inside of here. Latch up my box. And then I'm gonna wait about 10 seconds, 20 seconds after starting it. One thing you'll notice is I've done a lot to this box. I have a vent in here. I have, um, I have RF filters and now this window. With all of these things going on, um, all of them are strong and they're all signal blocking and effective. Um, and we know that because it's going to still block signals, we hope. Um, which is an interesting thing. The more you put in it, that can damage the enclosure and affect it. But we've done it in such a way in our videos that it still maintains conductivity and it works. Pop it open here. Perfect. Turn my brightness up. Okay, that's exactly what we want to see. So at about 15 seconds, that's about how long it took me to latch it. Signal went all the way down and it was completely blocked. We show Wi-Fi signal blocked, the test went well, and that's it. Do this with five gigahertz, do it with cell, I test all of them. Generally speaking, if Wi-Fi works, the others uh, like cell and Bluetooth should, but you still want to test, and that's it. So this is installing a transparent window in our DIY Faraday box. Thanks for watching. Again, any questions, contact us at info at mosequipment.com.